Hello, so I'm going to do some decluttering. I had some negative comments on my last declutter video because a couple of you were like, you don't actually throw anything away, you just tidy to move things around a bit. But um, I did actually declutter them, but I just didn't film it. So I thought, just so I don't get any comments like that again, I will film me actually reducing things so there is visual evidence. Um, I actually could sleep last night and was watching Lizzie Hadfield's video on her decluttering her knitwear. So that spurred me, I'm a bit dark on her, spurred me today to tackle jumpers first. Oh, I'm out of breath. I've just had a big curry for lunch, which I don't know if that was a good decision. Oh, by the way, I'm not uh, reliving my youth today. Well, actually, I kind of am. I just written a blog post about music and nostalgia. So for one of the pictures, I put this on. I'm quite enjoying it. Anyway, so let's get going. So I'm going to be applying some of the... How can I make myself look a little less like a ghoul? Um, is that better? Oh, it's just so dark today. Is that better? Probably not. Anyway, I think you can just about see me. So... I'm going to be applying, as I said, the Mary Condor, Condo, Condo, yeah, rules, and it's like, if it doesn't give you any joy, get rid. So first up is this long length Cardi, it's misguided. Well, that is pretty much as shapeless as things get. I haven't worn it in ages. It's, I think I... Got it in that phase, sorry, curry windy pops. I got it in that phase where I was into things that were shapeless, a bit like grungy and hang off the shouldery, but actually now as a full grown adult, I don't mind a bit of structure, so that is going away. But you know, some of you might like it. It's nice to have a, a longer length sometimes and you can kind of wrap it round you a bit like a dressing gown. So if any of you want it, let me know in the comments. God, I know if I chop my head off, I'm gonna get a negative comment about that. So stand here, take this off. So my next coverage, yes, we're all good. Another misguided number. So this is a beige slouchy jumper, which again, I think I used to wear quite a lot and haven't worn for ages. I mean, it's quite nice actually as a slouchy jumper, but then if I haven't worn it, then I'm obviously choosing other things ahead of it most of the time. Let me put the tripod further back so you can see the length of it better. No, it's not giving me joy, so let's get rid. Well, that's good, two for two, I'm being ruthless. This is very unlike me. Now this one I got because I like burnt orange as a colour and I thought oh that'd be useful for layering because it's sleeveless because sometimes with knitwear when you put them underneath like leather jackets and things it just bunches up particularly if it's like a bat wing it's a bloody nightmare. Um, again quite like it but I have not been wearing it, so let's let's get rid. Oh God, am I going to regret that one? No, I won't. It's fine. Um, download jumper. I mean, it's a bit of a special jumper, isn't it? And it's nice that I got sent this one Christmas. I think I'll keep that for sentimental value because actually, I think my festival days are nearly coming to an end. I think the content I want to make, soon at least, I want it to be a bit more, a bit more home-based, not home-based like Binky, but home-based, more adulty, more, I don't know, I just don't want to be that embarrassing woman that's still doing festival content and trying to be a scene kid when really she looks haggard as anything and very much past it. Um, I'm not saying that I won't go to festivals, I just won't do it for my job anymore, maybe just do it for fun. So this is this robbery jumper, absolute criminal vibes. Um, this was size actually, 
Oh, I, I quite like that. That's quite cute, isn't it? A little bit um, beano. Very snugly. It's actually not great nick. I don't think he looked after it washing-wise, but it's quite cute. We'll keep that one. Clearly looking after my clothes well. Hangers going through the weaves. Oh, God. Now... This sort of content, obviously, I've been doing my declutter diaries for years, but because only about 12 people watch my videos, my big fear is everyone's going to be like, oh my God, she's really copied Lizzie Hadfield. And I'm like, I've actually been doing this for years, and um, it's not my fault. No one actually knows about it because they don't watch them. Um, but either way, the more the merrier when it comes to decluttering, because, you know, it's good for the well-being of the planet. Or something. It's good for our mental health, I think. I just think it's good. The more people that do these videos and the more people that feel that they can rid themselves of excess product, the better, isn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this because every girl loves a jumper or anything that has pockets. And it's just a nice slouchy fit. I think this was Nasty Girl, actually. I think this was a birthday present. Yeah, definitely keeping that. So the keep pile and the erase get rid pile are even at the moment. Now this one I bought for like a summer knit, loved it, and then ended up never, I've never worn this out. And it's such a shame because I think it's quite cute. But you've got the open back, obviously would not wear it with the sports bra. And it's got this, it kind of looks like hundreds and thousands, like ice cream sprinkles. Do you know what? I'm going to give it one last go this summer, and if I don't wear it this summer, then it's time to say goodbye. Now, this cardi, I absolutely love, but again, never end up wearing it. It's got these popper buttons. That's a satisfying noise, isn't it? And it's got a drawstring here. Oh, it's really cute, isn't it? Maybe I should wear that more. I don't know. Let me know below whether you like this one. We'll call this the, the pale pink cardi. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments to keep or go. Oh, all that's... Very impactful moment, wasn't it? Oh, I felt like a superhero. Right, I'm gonna get the next bunch. I right, turn back. So this one, I only got given to me by Boohoo, I think it was last year. And I don't know, I'm just already a bit bored of it and I haven't returned to it. I did some pictures with Kay Ford in this one. I really like the pictures, but I think I like the pictures more than I like the top in this case. This is in really good nick if anyone wants to put in an offer for it. It'd be nice if it went to a good home. It's not giving me joy anymore, so off it goes. I used to ruddy love this jumper, but I think I'm a bit tired of the texture of it. I love the colour. The colours... Mm, God. I can't decide whether it's my sentimentality that makes me want to keep it or whether it actually looks nice. It's not the most comfy. This is a Topshop one. I think for now I'll keep it. That's going in the maybe. So this is a Primark one. So this is in like cute candy colours. So you've got the pink on the back, you've got the blue arms and then the white frontage. Again, I thought it was adorable at the time, but I haven't worn it for ages. So let's get rid. This is a more recent jumper. And I think actually, I don't know, is it fun or is it a bit immature for me? I don't know, I think it's quite cute and I think everyone can be perked up by wearing a bit of colour 
and the rainbow makes me feel happy so if it makes me feel happy it means it's a keep it's a joy it's a joyful outfit god i've got crease marks from where i've been doing this e. uh, that was a keep wasn't it I don't need to try this on. This is papaya, which is that Matalan? I can't remember, but yeah, it doesn't give me joy. I don't even need to put that one on. Off it goes. Old hoodie, it never gets any wears. That can go. That's in good nick. I should probably keep that one. That's a Primark hoodie. We're doing quite good so far. I'll get the next bunch. Next up is, so this is a Primark bright orange. God, I always think of myself as someone who likes muted tones, but my wardrobe suggests otherwise. Oh, this doesn't feel comfy, really. Um, there's some snagging on it too. No, it's going. God, I'm, I can really think watching that a series on Netflix has really changed my mindset. I'm very much in the zone. This is a Primark kind of leisure sports top. Again, super comfortable, but is it attractive on me? Not really. Sack of spuds comes to mind. No, nope, it's going. Oh my God. Um, this one. Probably one of the itchiest jumpers I own, but if you put a long sleeve underneath it and a leather jacket over the top, it's quite good. Faux leather, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. At least it's a bit of a statement piece as well. Do you remember uh, there was a time when a load of the bloggers had this? I'm sure they chucked it out about five seasons ago, but... Anyway, um, now this used to be one of my favourite jumpers and then Mother Dearest um, shrunk it in the wash and it's about whether it kind of works as a crop or not. What do we think? I know it's like mucus green so some of you are probably like, why did you like that anyway? Do you know what? I still can't kind of like it. I wonder if I can stretch it a little bit. Oh, that works a little bit. No, I'm going to keep that one. Okay, the final one for today. Let's go for this. So this is a really soft and cuddly vintage jumper I got. I think it was at Rocket or Beyond Retro. Feels so nice. It's a bit granny, but I don't mind that. Um, because I am a granny. Do you know at um, school my nickname was Graniola actually? Yeah, we'll keep that one. This is the pile that we're getting rid of. I think that's pretty good going. It's actually bigger than the keep pile. Well done me. Time to attempt another clear out. So this is the top drawer of my main drawers in my bedroom and this is generally where I keep my go-to makeup. But my go-to makeup really is just what's in here in this Jenim um, little makeup bag. This stuff is stuff that maybe perhaps used to be go-to or stuff that I've just chucked in here so it's hidden and out of sight um, because I don't know where it belongs or where it should go and I don't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to try and clean this out and hopefully turn this bread bin into a lovely kind of makeup case thing. It's just too cute to have as a bread bin isn't it? Oh, that's the only stuff going in the rubbish. Oh, by the way, sorry, there is a sex scene going on in the background if you're wondering what that noise is. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, okay, that's very distracting. I might change what I'm watching. This isn't usually what I watch when I'm doing my declutter videos, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I 
mean, we're not there yet, but this is a hell of a lot better. I've chucked out a lot. There's a lot of these boxes that I have to keep. It's an, one of those annoying things as a blogger that before you've done the blog post and perhaps done all the blog pictures you need to, you need to hang on to this packaging just in case there's any information you might need on it or just for the aesthetics of the blog photo. So I've got loads of just things like well-intentioned things I've kept in case I need them one day for blog content and never actually get around to doing it but that's why there's always these boxes and packaging still here when I could really do chucking it out anyway much better than it was quite pleased with that so thanks for watching this episode of Declutter Diaries let me know if you'd like to have more of these sorts of videos and as I said if you liked any of the things that I was going to chuck and want them just send me a message or a dm or something or other some sort of communication and um, we'll chat um yeah this is feeling good i'm feeling a bit cleansed um so yeah see you in the next one hope you're all well sending lots of love as always hope 2019 is treating you well